doing? Hello, my name is Azazel Rainbow Pants. My name's Lee. My name's Trick. I am Benjamin. My name's Andy, 29. I like long walks on the beach, collecting seashells, and watching Gossip Girl. And I play the drums. I play guitar. I am the lead singer. I play keys. I'm, uh, I'm the bass player for Howling Dollhouse. Howling. 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 Howling Dollhouse. Howling Dollhouse. Slap at a bass. <laughs> I'd love to play grand piano on stage, but um, it's not possible to carry around. So keys it is. I've got no idea what Howling Dollhouse is. Um, um, it sounds like a philosophical question or something. <laughs> a group of guys who enjoy playing music and enjoy listening to good music. It's a bunch of mates. And well, for me personally, it's the culmination of my life's work. It's also just a good mix of fun, fire, toys, stupidity. The thing that I suppose I've been working towards for the last 15 years and just having a good time. Um, obviously it's our band name. A mix of shit. Kind of like a family. Like stuff like this, you go out for little picnics, you go out for, not picnics, it sounds a bit gay. The guys, well playing with the guys. For starters it's just, you know, it's just fun to get together with, you know, four other mates and <clears throat> bash out some tunes, you know, you, you're creating something. The creativity of everyone in the band, um, everyone just seems to gel together, everyone writes music, um, everyone supports each other. The thing that I love most is uh, having Wednesday nights off, because that's our rehearsal nights. Just go into a, uh, into a studio and jam out for hours. To be able to leave a bit of a legacy behind, to get the music out and leave it to my children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren. Aside from that, just other things like, I mean, I love recording. I love playing gigs. Obviously playing the music, but apart from the obvious. The diversity of our music um, is something I love. I just, I just love being in a band. It's a release from real life. Yeah. Something dumb like nerds, lollies. Yeah, see, I'd probably be licorice. Like, there's no grey area with licorice. Like, people either like it or they hate it. Spicy Mexican, <laughs> but one with like a subtle kick that like comes in after, because I'm a bit like shy. I would be Blue Heaven. Rainbow Paddle Pop or Sour Grape? Maybe on a bed of something fluffy like coconut rice or something. At times, a bit like the morning after a good Mexican pizza. <laughs> a bit of a kick. <laughs> Bit of a kick in the guts. Yeah, that's pretty much me. Although Rainbow Paddle Pop's not really a flavour as such, so I guess it's... Yeah. Rainbow Paddle Pop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how do you describe that? I mean, it's indescribable. It's like, um... I think it's better than an orgasm, to be honest. Um, probably one of the best feelings in the world. You kind of forget everything. It's, uh... I don't really have a feeling on stage, it's like you're in a whole other place and you walk off stage and can barely remember the last hour or so. Um, yeah, I get really nervous on stage. You're up there, you've got, you can't stop, you know, right, wrong, if you screw up, you keep going. It's a rush. You just, it's just a, a rush you can't describe. You start playing and you're nervous and, and like, I mean, you, you can see these people watching you and, and you... You're thinking, oh, I look like a dick. My main feeling is nervousness until it gets started, and then it's just sort of in the zone. And Playing the drums on stage, I probably feel the most like I know what I'm doing of anything I'm doing in my life. Yeah, it's just very surreal, whole other world. But then, you know, as you start sort of moving and bouncing a bit, like the people watching you are you know, bouncing as well, and it's kind of like you, you start feeding off that and they're feeding off you and... Watching people sing back a song that you've been part of creating and seeing them get whatever they're getting out of it, you know, everyone's going to get something different out of it, that's the beauty of music, but watching them get whatever they're taking from it and just being 
that into it is awesome. There's no better feeling than that. Um, yeah, if you look out at a sea of people um, and everyone's rocking out to your music and enjoying your music, it just makes you feel, you can't feel any better than that. It's like a drug. If we had our instruments, probably jewels, and if you need a bit of drums to go along with my bass. Probably Lee, because he seems to eat the least. So if there was like a couple of coconuts around, I'd, I'd get most of them. If we didn't have instruments, probably Jules as well, he's a bit cuddly. We could spoon, that'd be all right. I would have to take Lee, because Lee and I have been, you know, real close friends since school. Definitely not a Zazel. He's useless, he can't even start a fire, that dude. Um, Lee would talk too much. We can spend a long time talking, or we can also spend a long time saying nothing, and it doesn't get awkward, it's whatever. Maybe Skinny, Andy. Yeah, yeah, probably Andy, I reckon. We'd, uh, we'd have a party. Skinny I've also known since school. He'd constantly be assessing how he looked, even though no one else is around, which would probably irritate me slightly. <sighs> probably no one. They've all got bad hygiene, so I'm not sure. If I had to pick one, I'd probably pick Jules, because at the moment it's getting quite fit. So if we're in a situation where we have to run away from cannibals, I reckon he'd be awesome. He could pick me up and just run. I don't want to punch anyone in the face. <laughs> I'm a lover, not a hater. Definitely Lee, 100%. That guy's far too nice. I would punch Ben in the face. Ben Jam. Yeah, definitely. Because he drives me fucking insane. Ben and I can be incredibly stubborn when it comes to, you know, band decisions or whatever. He's very headstrong, uh, a lot like me, and, and we, we clash. I just get so frustrated. I'm sure he's feeling the same thing, and I just, if you could just resolve it with one snappy, swift punch to the face. Sometimes you just fucking bump him. I'd definitely punch Lee in the face because he has the most grottiest, dirtiest hair you've ever seen. I think he only washes it maybe two or three times a year. You just don't want to be around that. Maybe skinny for shits and giggles. <laughs> Easy. Zoe Deschanel is one of the most beautiful humans on the face of planet Earth. Has been for 15, 20 years, Jennifer Love Hewitt. Jennifer Love Hewitt always comes up as like my whole pass. <laughs> She's a bit of a babe. I reckon if I was uh, stuck in a room with Zoe Deschanel and Kate Beckinsale, I wouldn't complain. I, I don't even know if I'm saying her name right. Deschanel? Deschanel? Zoe Deschanel? Zoe? Double O? Kerry Ann Kennelly. I'm not even joking. She's amazing. Probably the best pins on TV. Um, yeah, I'm not even kidding. She's a great lady. However the fuck you say it, she is beautiful. I love you, Cack. Probably Vikings. I love Vikings. They're just like, tough. And I could picture a Viking ripping a dinosaur's head off. I would take Vikings. I love Vikings. I love skulls. I love horns. I love... Swords. Probably ninjas. I always like to hang with a ninja. Dinosaurs, man. I love dinosaurs. Yeah. Uh, dinosaurs and Bruce Willis, they're kind of the same thing, aren't they? I would like to see Bruce Willis as a, as a Viking in uh, Die Hard with a Vengeance. Bruce Willis with his hungover, sarcastic, get me the fuck out of here, I have a headache attitude as a Viking would be a force to be reckoned with. Not Bruce Willis, so I think he's boring, so I hate him. Bruce Willis, of course. Where's Chuck Norris in that?